Windows 10 receives security updates as they are required. This could be as frequently as every day. Feature updates are released twice a year. They tend to be named after the time at which they were released. So for example, this course is based on Windows 10 1703 for the year 17, the month 03. Quality updates are released as needed. A feature update and a quality update. A feature update is a, is a major update, a bit like a new version of Windows. So the difference between Windows 8 and 8.1, for example. Quality updates are a bit like major service packs and then they're released uh, as needed and are not time stamped in quite the same way. You can use the settings app to configure an individual computer's update settings. But if you're in a larger organization, you might want to use group policy to configure multiple computer update settings. Servicing options. There are a number of different servicing options available for Windows 10. This allows you to exert a bit of control over how often you receive feature and quality updates. In current branch, feature updates are available immediately. This is available across all main editions of Windows 10. So for example, Windows 10 Home, Pro, Enterprise. Current branch for business, feature updates are available after about four months of release. Current branch for business is available on all editions of Windows 10 except Windows 10 Home. The long-term servicing branch is a special version of enterprise editions with minimal feature updating. This provides for a static, non-changing environment on Windows 10 for those organizations that require it for their application set. Note that current branch and current branch for business are now replaced by semi-annual channel and semi-annual channel targeted in the latest edition of Windows 10 1709. You can apply updates manually as part of a maintenance process or automatically by using Windows Update, the default behavior, System Center Configuration Manager or Microsoft Intune. To configure Windows Update settings on an individual computer, open the Settings app, click Update and Security, and then click the Windows Update tab. You can configure Active Hours. This allows Windows to understand when you typically use the device. Restarts will not normally occur during Active Hours. Restart Options. You can specify a particular time for your restarts. Under Advanced Options, you can also configure to obtain updates for other Microsoft products when you update Windows. If a restart is required, you can specify that Windows Update can sign in using the local user information to complete the installation of an update. And you can also choose when updates are installed, configuring whether you're using current branch or current branch for business. You can also configure a feature update and quality update deferment. So suppose an update becomes available, a feature update, you could choose to defer that by 15 days or a quality update by 10 days. So there are a number of different options that you can use to defer. Update history allows you to view and uninstall optionally any updates that you've previously installed if you're, for example, experiencing a problem with those updates. In the demonstration, you'll see how to configure Windows Update. Windows Update is comparatively easy to configure on an individual computer. Open up all settings, choose Update and Security, and it defaults to the Windows Update tab. It's telling me here that uh, the device is out of date because it lacks some of the updates. That's because it's a virtual machine and I don't often connect it directly to the internet. However, I can configure it to check for updates now. I can change active hours down here. These are the hours when you typically use the device and it will try to avoid doing an automatic restart during those active hours. So we can change that to 8 p.m. if I, I'm going to be working late and then save that. Restart options. So we'll finish installing updates when you tell us to, um, but you can show a reminder when we're going to restart. We'll say yes, we'd like to be, be told that we're going to do a restart. On the advanced options page, you can give updates or receive updates for other Microsoft products, such as, uh, for example, Microsoft Office. And you can use my sign-in info to automatically finish setting up a, my device after an update. So if, if a, an update requires a restart, it will automatically sign back in to complete the update. So let's get Windows to check for updates. Whilst it's checking, we can take a look at some of the advanced options down here. Choose how updates are delivered. By default, it will also check for updates 
that have been already been received on PCs on your local network. You can also choose PCs on the local network and PCs on the internet. This can sometimes help you improve the uh, delivery or optimize the delivery of updates. So one of the PCs on your local network obtains an update and then you can uh, receive that update from that local PC rather than having to get it over a slower link. In a small organization, that can be quite beneficial. In a large organization, you'll tend to use another mechanism to distribute updates from a central point. Now you can see that it's picking up a number of updates. So I'll scroll back and take a look at some more advanced options. We can see here that uh, this device is configured for current branch. I can choose current branch for business. Current branch means I'll, I'll get the updates more quickly generally than with current branch for business. And that's because current branch for business allows for updates to stabilize more so that they're more appropriate for larger organizations in, and, and for widespread use. For um, a home user, current branch is appropriate um, if you're using Windows, Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise. For business organizations, you probably want to go down the uh, current branch for business. As I mentioned in the session, these have been renamed now to uh, semi-annual channel and semi-annual channel targeted. Feature updates includes new capabilities and improvements, and you can defer this by a certain number of days. So you can configure how long after an update is available before you'll want to use it. So that gives you time to consider whether the update is something that you want. Quality updates include security improvements. Again, you can defer those, although you'll probably want to avoid doing that if you possibly can. Generally speaking, you'll want quality updates and security improvements as soon as possible. Feature updates tend to be released every uh, six months or so. So 1703 marked the March 2017 release of the creators update. And uh, again, in September 1709 marked the uh, fall creators update. You can pause updating for a period of time, but turn that on or off for up to 35 days. Um, and these are options that you can um, exert some degree of control over how updates are, are received on your computer. So now you can see that the updates have attempted to or have started to download and we can see a feature update listed here for Windows 10 version 1709. That's in the list as well. Again, I, I may not want to apply that particular feature update straight away. I may want to defer that. Update history allows me to view the updates that I've received and I can go to the uninstall updates option if there are any updates that I want to remove. Now this computer hasn't been updated so I'm not expecting to see anything really. It's a virtual machine so this is a list of program updates and some minor security updates to desktop apps. So again I'm, I'm not really expecting to see very much at all. But I can uninstall an app that's causing me a problem, or rather uninstall an update that's causing me a problem here. So uh, while manually configuring updates is, is great for one or two uh, computers, it's not very practical for a large number. You can control the way that Windows Update works uh, by using group policies. I'm going to use the local group policy editor, but anyway, it gives you an idea of how to, to make the change. If I open up gpedit.msc, and then if I go to, um, let's have a look. The computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, data collection and preview builds. I can toggle user control over insider builds. Let me just show you where that is actually before we I make that change. If I go back to start settings and choose update security windows insider program i can actually configure my computer to get uh, early release software now i may not want for my users to do that so i can enable that um, or disable that to to allow or, or, or prevent so i'm going to choose disable to stop my users from accessing insider builds uh, the next thing i can have a look at is under windows components Scroll down to find Windows Update. And then I can choose, select when feature updates are received and select when quality updates are received. And I can specify enable and I'm on current branch, but I can configure the device to be on current branch for business. And I can set that to be, I don't know, let's say 10 days. 
and then quality updates I can specify that to be a value but once I've enabled it of I don't know let's say also 10 days and uh, under Windows Update here do not connect to any Windows Update internet locations enabled that prevents um, it from downloading updates from the internet except for from the Windows Update server you can also configure automatic updates here by enabling and specifying notify for download and auto install auto download and notify auto download and schedule or allow the local admin to choose I'm going to choose notify for download and auto install so in other words it won't automatically start downloading it will tell me that there are updates and so now usually if this was a domain policy I'd need to update the group policy open up an elevated prompt PowerShell in this case but command prompt refresh the policy okay so let's take a look at what the effect of those changes is open all settings update and security I click on Windows Insider Program you can see that's now disabled some settings are hidden or managed by your organization that indicates that the group policy settings are in effect and then click on Windows Update and under Advanced Options you can see that current branch for business has been selected but is greyed out and also that the feature updates and quality updates are being deferred and again some settings are hidden or managed by your organization and uh, here we have some settings are hidden or managed by your organization in terms of controlling updates this device is disconnected from the internet at the moment so it's not going to be able to obtain any at all but were we to click check for updates or let it run um, automatically it would just list that there were updates rather than automatically start to download them giving us much more control over the process in the demonstration you saw how to configure Windows Update